This is part two on chapter five, section one. In the first video, you solved the equation of systems that had two linear equations or system of equations with two equations. And now you're gonna solve system of equations that, has, that have three equations. In this particular situation, I took this from your um, e-text. I wanted to show you some visual representations of solving an equation with three unknowns. In a system with three unknowns, you'll notice that you no longer have just an X and Y. You're going three-dimensional here. So you're going to have an X axis, you're going to have a Y axis, and you're going to have a Z, which brings it out into the room, per se. So X, Y, and Z, three-dimensional. So we are particularly going to study when three equations intersect at a point. But your book gives six visual representations. I just showed the first three where the system of three equations intersects in a point or in a line or they share all their points in common or have all their points in common. So let's do example six to see what happens with three equations with three variables, x, y, and z. What you want to do, the big picture is that you want to pair up equations so that you eliminate a variable so that you can get down to a system of two equations. So you want to go from a three equation system down to a two equation system, which now you already know how to do because you've covered examples two, three, and four. So let's look at this. How am I going to do this? You're going to create two pairs or a set of pairs. Two sets of pairs, I guess is one way to say it. You want to eliminate the same variable each time. So you want to combine either equation 1 and 2, 1 and 3, or 2 and 3 to start eliminating one variable. So when I started looking at it, my first pair I looked at all three equations, and I want to choose two of these to eliminate one variable. If you notice, equation two and three eliminates when you, uh, the z when you add them together. Notice the negative z and the z? So I thought that would be the easiest one. You can just determine that every time you're going to eliminate the x first and then, you know, go from there. But I like to look and see which would be the shortest and easiest thing to eliminate. So I noticed right off the bat, I could add these together and get rid of the Z. So I chose to add equation 2 and equation 3 together. I've written them down here. So add these together. 2X and X is 3X. Y plus Y is 2Ys. Negative Z and a positive Z cancel out. And 3 and 2 is 5. So notice, there's your first equation for your system of two equations. I'm going to write it down right there. All right, now, I need a system of two equations that doesn't have a Z in it, and I've got one of them. I need one more. So what I'm going to do, I've combined equation two and three. I have not used equation one. So on my second pair, you're going to notice you still need to eliminate the z again, but you've got to use equation one that hasn't been used yet. And I can combine it with either two or three that you've already used, it doesn't matter. So let's look, here's my equation one. It's, and I still gotta eliminate z again because I wanna create my two system. So what would I wanna add six z with to eliminate a z again? Well, I already have a positive 6z, so what if this, this is already negative, so all I would have to do is multiply this equation through by 6, so that when I got to the z, I'd have a positive 6z here, a negative 6z there. So, notice I said, notice one option is to combine equation 1, which contains a positive 6z, and equation 2, which contains a negative z, as the signs are already opposite, and all I need to do is multiply equation two through by six. So equation one plus six times equation two. There's equation one. 
and I'm going to multiply equation 2 through by 6. So I'm going to keep equation 1 as it is. And I'm going to multiply equation 2 through by 6. 6 times 2 is 12x. 6 times y is 6y. 6 times negative z is negative 6z. And 6 times 2 is 12. Now I'm going to add them together. The whole purpose is that that 6z is going to go cancel with a negative 6z. 3 and 12 gives me 15x's. 9 and 6 gives me 15 y's. There's my equal sign. 3 and 12 gives me 15. So I have 15x plus 15y equals 15. There are the two equations for my system of two equations made up of just x and y. So I'm going to go to step 2 now. I've just created, I've gone from a equation of 3 to equation system of 2. So I'm going to work on that. It says we have two unknowns and we've already learned how to handle that in example 2. So I'm going to copy those two equations down to start my new system. I'm solving it. And I'm going to do just like I've done before. I'm going to say, okay, what do I need to do again to eliminate another variable? So I look at the x's and I say, well, to eliminate an x, this is 15x. All I'd have to do is multiply this equation by negative 5. Um, if I look at the y's, that's a 2 and a 15. They both would go into 30. I'd have to change both equations to fix that. So what I'm going to do is I choose to multiply this by negative 5 and eliminate the x. <coughs> so that's going to give me negative 15x and then the negative 5 times the 2, negative 10y equals the negative 5 times the 5, a negative 25. And that way I can keep this one the same. And I can add these together. A negative 10 and 15 would be a positive 5y. A negative 25 and 15 is a negative 10. Divide both sides by 5. So y is negative 2. And you just solve for your first variable. So from here on out, it's very easy. We've gotten down to the, from the 3 to the 2 equation system. We've solved for our first variable, and so now we're just going to go backwards, substituting in. I kind of say bump back. So one unknown variable has now been solved for. Solve for the other two unknown variables by substitution. Part A, substitute our new found amount variable back into one of the above two equations from your two equation system. I just pick one of them. So I know that y is negative 2, and I'm going to choose the equation 3x plus 2y equals 5. So 3x plus 2 times negative 2 when I substitute in equals 5. So 3x, 2 times negative 2 is a negative 4 equals 5. So 3x, uh-oh, let me put this right here for you guys. There you go. Add 4 to both sides, so 3x equals 9. Divide both sides by 3, so x is 3. So now I know that x is 3 and y is negative 2. All I have to solve for now is the z. And if you'll notice, you don't see a z in your system of 2. So we bump further back and go back to the original. And I just choose one of the original equations. And I'm just going to choose this third one because it's x plus y plus z is 2. So x plus y plus z is 2. That looks easy enough to substitute back into. My x is 3. My y is negative 2. 3 and negative 2 is 1. Keep working. Plus z is 2. And now I need to add negative 1 to both sides to solve. 
so z is 1. So let's do our ordered triple. This is the order of x, y, and z. My x is 3. My y is negative 2. My z is 1. So, you know, if you were graphing this, you would go out. Let's do the little graph and kind of visualize this. But you would go over 3, down 2, and come out into the room. So you're really, if you can see that with the pen, rather than seeing it on paper, um, it would be like go over 3, down 2, and come up into the room 1 space. So three-dimensional point where these three lines intersect. I want to do this You Try It from your book. It's next, if you click on You Try It button next to your example six in your ebook, it may not be exactly these numbers. It may regenerate. But I want to work this one with you. It's a little bit special. I want you to see what happens. It actually becomes an easier problem. So I also want to do it without all the written steps and notes so that you can kind of see the process without all the writing. Remember, step one is you want to combine two of the equations to eliminate a variable. So right off the bat, nothing's hitting me there. I could add these two equations together because a y and a negative y would cancel, or this y and a negative y would cancel. Um, on this, I could do the z's. I can eliminate z's because a z and a negative z cancels, or a z and a negative z cancels. Since I kind of like canceling those z's out from the first time, let's do that. I'm going to combine these two equations, and that would eliminate a z, and then I'm going to combine the first and second equation to eliminate z. Do you see how I can see this kind of quick? If I add these two, it gets rid of z, and if I add these two, it gets rid of z. I've used all three equations. I've repeated the use of equation two. So if I add the first two, equation one plus equation two, and I'm just going to do it right here. x plus 2x is 3x. y plus y is 2y. z plus negative z cancels equals negative 4 plus negative 13 is negative 17. So I eliminated the z. Now let's look at the second two. I'm going to add those together. So equation 2 plus equation 3. 2x and x is 3x. Positive y and negative y, that cancels. Negative z and positive z, well, that cancels like I planned. And then negative 13 and negative 2 are left. Added together is negative 15. Because the y and the z cancel, look, I only have an x that I'm able to solve for. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and solve it. So x is negative 5. So actually, my work was shortened on this one. So negative 5 is x. So we just start the bump back and substituting in process. So put the negative 5 back into your system with only, or not even a system, but your equation with just two variables so that you can solve for the other one. So I'm going to put substitute here, and we get negative 15 plus 2y is negative 17. Add 15 to both sides, so 2y is negative 2. Divide both sides by 2, we get negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. So we have x is negative 5. Y is negative 1. All I need is Z. So I'm just going to go back to my original ones up here. I think the first one would be my easy one to substitute in. So X is negative 5. Y is negative 1. Negative 5 and negative 1 is negative 6. I'll go ahead and write it. Let me make a little room here. So we're going to use X plus Y plus Z is negative 4. Negative 5 negative 1, z, and negative 4. So I have negative 6 plus z is negative 4. You're going to add 6 to both sides, and you're going to get z then is 2. Negative 5, negative 1, 2. 
So you see, there was a lot of writing in the other for you to take notes, but you can kind of pop through this once you get used to it. It's not that difficult. But I'm gonna show you something that you're gonna say, oh my goodness, I wish I'd known this at the beginning. You have a program, if you have your calculator, you check TI-83 or 84, the instructors have those type calculators and we have programs on them. So if you needed the system three to solve for a three equation system, you could use your graphing calculator to help you with that. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna use my actual calculator. I'm gonna turn this on. I've already done one system here, so I'm gonna hit enter. Let me clear it and just go from the very beginning. All right, to get to your programs, there's a button right here that says programs. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. Programs. If you hit programs and there's nothing here, then you don't have any programs. So you would have to get a teacher to help you with that. We have links and we can link it up with our calculator and load the programs for you. But you have these programs and we want system three. Now notice they're in alphabetical order. So here's my button here. I'm gonna arrow down. See everything moving down. I can just hold it down till I get to sys three. There it is, SIS3. Now you're gonna hit enter, and it says, okay, program system three. Hit enter again, and it says, to solve for AX plus BY plus CZ plus D is EX, notice all of that. So there's your three equations. Now A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. Those are your coefficients and your constants. So what you do is, this is my system I wanted to solve, and my coefficients are 1, 1, 1, my constant negative 4, 2, 1, negative 1, negative 13, 1, negative 1, 1, negative 2. So those are your understood coefficients. If you need to write them in, you can, but I think y'all probably can handle that without doing so. So I'm just going to go through putting those in. My A is 1, enter. My B, it won't be, is 1, enter, 1, enter. Now that's negative 4. Don't hit minus 4. Negative's down here. Negative 4, enter, 2, enter, 1, enter, negative 1, enter, negative 13, enter, 1, enter, negative 1, enter, 1, enter, negative 2, enter. And look at your answer. x equals negative 5, y equals negative 1, z equals 2. Negative 5, negative 1, 2. I did it right. I hope this video has been helpful. Don't forget to go back if you need to practice. Examples 2, 3, and 4 cover your system of two equations. Example six was your system of three equations. So if you were to go to your um, ho your homework in 5.1 in your e-text, if you go to that end of that section, you can work these particular problems and find your solutions in the back of the e-book under your solution, solution section. That was hard to say. Well, I hope this has been helpful, and if you need anything, make sure you ask your instructors for help. Uh, if you're in the lab, of course, you'll have instructors there to help you. If you need tutorials, you can get those online. You can also get tutoring at the Success Center. So please take advantage, and I hope you great success.